Are we live? Are we live? Fantastic. Beldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's continue with some Terraria. Um, may as well go put this wire away. I don't remember what I was using it for. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Let's organize it real quick. Uh, security chests. Go down here. Does an aged security chest work? It does. Hey, Morphe is out. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And lava slime banner. Oh, I should have, uh... I should have found the time to install magic storage, but I didn't. Um, let's just put this... Why is there... Why is there a fireplace in here? Get out of here. Larius? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What's this? Ghastly Glaive. I think that's from the Old One's Army. What else do we have here? St Sky Dragon's Fury. Whoa. That's vanilla. Right click while holding for alternate attacks. Oh my goodness. That's different. Um, I guess I'll put that in the collection. Tome of Infinite Wisdom. Fantastic. Um, this is supposed to be really good against uh, Destroyer of Worlds. If you can get it early enough. But I never have. What else have we got? Ari Ariel Bane. Lol. Shoots splitting arrows. Doesn't this come from Betsy? That's way too weak. Well, okay, if you're playing solo, that's way too weak for a drop from Betsy. Uh, let's see. Loot and collection. Sky Dragon's Fury, Ariel Bane, Betsy's Wrath. Splashes defense reducing miasma. Flying dragon. Is there a summon? Nope. Two melees. I guess it's sticking with the theme of the crossover. Yeah, that's pretty awkward. Let's put it away. Uh, Ogre's club. Don't care. Savage Flying Dragon. I wonder how good this is. I mean, it's not good now, but... For vanilla, it's pretty decent. Let's put that away. Lazy Brand of the Inferno. Right click to guard with a shield. I don't see a shield. Right click to guard with a shield. Do I have to have a shield in my accessory slots? That would be a new mechanic. Uh, where did it go? Give it back. Yeah, I have to have a shield in my inventory for this thing to guard. Okay. Never seen that before. Hey, Zura. Green Mango. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Brand of the Inferno can go in here. 
casually got a hundred defender uh, medals. I'll put those down. I could grab another uh, player specific storage area, but it's kind of big. And it's not like I'm going to get another one. Well, I could almost. I could get two, actually. But yeah, I don't really see the point. Uh, Betsy Relic, I think we already put down. No, we probably didn't. Actually, I think we did because we killed her, but we didn't check her off the list because we didn't win the event last time. Uh, Betsy goes right after the Martian Saucer. Here she is. And we'll stack that away. Remember to eat a good meal and take your meds, indeed. I've had two shots of bottom shelf whiskey, two cheap beers, and a cliff bar. Uh-oh. I am the Sky. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. More bedtime terraria? Indeed it is. Um, I was thinking the next thing I should do is fight this boss, but with melee gear. But I don't want to do it without a warm-up. Let's go check out what this is, this Exodium. Explodium? Exodium. Oh, and put that back. Oh, it's very shiny. Okay then, I guess we're mining all of this. Gimme gimme. Uh, before we continue... Mining potion? Bacon? There we go. It looks slower if we go diagonally. Get these bunny ears out of here. Where did... Are you kidding me? Where did my summons go? There's no way. There's no way I had 20 buffs. Okay, I don't know what's doing that. That's... What the hell? So something is causing my summons to disappear. Other than getting pushed off of the limit of 20 uh, buffs because I haven't used any buffs except for my, uh, mining potion and exquisite excuse me the only ones I've used today are mining potion exquisitely stuffed and station buffs
screwed. There we go. Some of it fell. We'll have to go down there. Currently replaying Fallout 2 and having a pretty good time. Nice. How far in are you? Uh, shine potion go? Oh, I had... I had potion of omniscience, there we go. Made it to Vault City, sort of the start of the mid-game. Ah yes, I remember that. Whoa, oh, that was a lot quicker. Another one? I need to check again what Exodium gives us. Something good, hopefully. Um, I don't suppose explosives would have worked on this. I think the tiles that explosives uh, can destroy changes with your pickaxe power, maybe? I could be wrong about that. Jungle torch. Oh, I guess there's jungle tiles over here. Is there anything in here? Oh, there is. Not a whole lot to get excited about at this stage of the game, but still. Give me that honey. Let me out. How many wyverns do you need? Okay. Back we go. Talon Grandmaster, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Did not know you could explode that outhouse in Modoc and cover the town in crap. <laughs> All for some old man's watch. Yes, indeed. That does ring a bell. Speaking of Grandmaster, we demand chess stream? Uh oh. But I am chess scrub. I'm good for someone who doesn't play chess seriously, I guess you could say.
Are we just about done here? Hard to tell from the map. Okay, let's get the magnet. Pick up all of these essences. Oh, Mr. Block. And down we go. Oh, don't have to go all the way to the ground. Actually, I should probably do that just to check that we didn't miss anything. Oh, hello. Probably nothing rare, but still. Okay, I was thinking about swapping this over to slot 1, because it's kind of like the wide area attack. And I certainly don't mind spending rockets. Uh, I need to put away the nano purge. I completely forgot I had that in my inventory. Where are we keeping the good mage items? Uh, good question. Let's stack this stuff away. What's that? The Transformer. Taking damage releases a blast of sparks. Immunity to electrified and you resist all electrical projectile enemy damage. Enemy bullets do half damage to you and are redirected back at the en enemy for 800% their original damage. That's pretty good for a tanky build. Where did I get it from? Uh, from the Shockstorm shuttle, and that's the only thing that can give it to you. Huh. Alright, I'll put that in defensive items. Bad at chess, but I really enjoy it. After 1k games on chess.com, I'm still rated 870. Oh no. I, I can't really make a comparison there. I just had parents who played chess um, and dragged me into it. Uh, let's get rid of this. Have I got all my... There we go. I want to find a boss with the ranger gear before I bother to change. Um, wait, weren't we doing this uh, console stuff? Let's try and finish that. Decryption computer. Uh, we need... Oh yeah, we got that stuff together and then it required objects includes the words view an unencrypted schematic from the lab near the sunken sea. I, th I don't think I went to the Sunken Sea yet. To find the lab, that is. Okay, so we're going to the Sunken Sea. Uh, this would not... Ranger would not be the ideal set down here, I think. But we're way overpowered for the Sunken Sea. So it's fine. I should make more rail and teleporters and stuff. Oh. Speaking of which... potion just to make this easy. Is that a clam? Does it not hurt you if you 
Yeah, no, there's no contact damage if you don't hurt it. Um, but I want to make sure... Is that a chest? That's not a chest. I want to make sure I've got more than enough of whatever drops here. That looked stronger than what I was expecting. should go up. Once we get our teleport. I really, really, really wish Calamity didn't nerf teleporting into the ground. It's such a quality of life nerf. I don't want to dig through all this all the time. Make the... ruin the lovely terrain as well. Make absolutely sure we don't have to come back for more. We've probably already got all of the seed prism we'll ever need. Finally, someone who streams Terraria all of my time. One of my all-time favorite games, indeed. It is pretty good, to say the least. Pale... Palebow Starcraft? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And... Let's see if I can get up here. Oh, that's a big one. I don't want to drain it. What is a Starcraft? Wow. Okay. I see how it is. Your bunny? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'll come back for this one. Um, it, judging by the the shape of it, we should be getting fairly close to having explored this whole biome and finding the... yeah, 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 here it is. Here's the, here's the upper edge of it. So we're looking for a science base. Why is there obsidian in here? Oh, I see lava. Oh, here it is. Almost poured it right into it. I don't suppose that's... no. No airlock door. Feels bad, man. Actually, what about around the side here? If they'd better have built an airlock into it because because it would look cool and it would be a missed opportunity if they didn't. Um, okay, that looks too cool to dig away. I'm going to leave that there. is light and I can't really see there's nothing special over here right yeah I don't know how one is supposed to navigate through these things without destroying them um, I think we've got enough of these factory thingies uh, would you stop 
Oh, I didn't know they gave us resources. And what do we have here? Aged server, charging station, aged console. I may as well take them. Maybe I'll make a bigger room for this stuff. I don't know why I have Cosmolite in my inventory right now. Let's put that back. And just in case I want the aesthetic. Lab display. What is that? Navy plate? Okay. Yoink, and a yoink, and a yoink, and a yoink. Made me put down a torch, how dare you. Apparent danger while researching serves only to enhance the research experience. Isn't that what it said at the other base? Does it change if we kill the turrets? That's not something special, is it? No. I think we've uh, got everything from here. Schematic Sunken Sea. Fantastic. Finally detailed diagrams. So what was it it said up here? Uh, decryption computer. And decryption computer required object says view an unencrypted schematic. It's green now. So we can make it now, I think. So we just need wire, copper, glass, and these two. Let's go. First I'll put this stuff away. Schematic. Drayden's log, study on sunken aquatic life. Click to view content. Here we go. I can't zoom in on it. Reserved for millennia. A paradise for living beings who sought shelter in prehistoric seas. They remain untouched by evolution, save for their adaptations to the oxygen-starved waters and dim crystals. Continuing to thrive. One mystery which continues to escape my understanding, however, is how large some of the creatures have become. There's a blatant lack of nutrition and oxygen in the caves, and yet... The marine life in these caves do have eyes, though they are barely functional, dulled by lack of use and milky white upon observation. On their tough, gnarled hides, crystals find an easy purchase and grow in great numbers, providing the creatures protection. Perhaps another ad adaptation to life as they have, uh, the life they have adopted. The most striking wonder is within their bodies. The specimens dissected, I have noticed that the mineral is buried into their very digestive systems, and perhaps through some chemical process, pass nutrients into their sluggish hosts. A peculiar yet entirely beneficial interaction. Uh, wait, did I miss some? I did. A specimen which has developed a grand size... Oh yeah, that's just the giant clam. We get it. Uh, let's put this away. And then... Get rid of the torch. Let me just... Blank that real quick. Uh, and we need to empty the void bag. Quick stack. Put all. Quick stack. This goes in. Uh, let me get rid of this, actually. What's this? Fleeting Voltaic Jelly. Minion attacks inflict electrified. Plus one max minions. 
Well, that would have been good when I was playing Summoner early on. Uh, we can combine it with a Wolfram battery and some cheap stuff to make Jelly Charged Battery. Plus one min max minions, plus 7% minion damage. Orbs of electric... Minion attacks spawn orbs of energy and inflict electrified. And then it keeps getting upgraded still. I totally missed this line. Uh, we've got a Wolfram battery or two in here. We need gel. And we need... Stormline Mandible. And was it... Uh, actually an anvil. And then how do we upgrade that? Three life alloy. So this is closer to where we are now. Nuclear rod. Plus one max minions. Minions release an irradiated aura on enemy hits. Grants immunity to irradiated. That might be useful. Um, and this does basically all of that, I think. Astral explosions and inflict several debuffs. But it's still a material, because of course it is. Um, where do we get nuclear rod? Crag, Cragmore Maya. Have we found one of those before? It doesn't look like it. Guess there's no need to worry about that for a while. Uh, although it sounds like... I don't know. It sounds like it should have been picked up earlier. Okay, let's just put it away for now. I'll put that in the summoner accessory chest. And then stack these away. Do we have a chest for lime kelp? I guess not. That should be everything. Okay. What's this? Treasure bag? Betsy. Oh, I didn't open it. Uh, oh, I opened the first one. She gives you 46... Well, she gives you a bunch of Defender medal, uh, Medals. Didn't know that. Stuff away. You know what? I'm not going to bother with the banners anymore. Tome of Infinite Wisdom. Betsy's Wrath. Did I not put the tome away earlier? And this stuff. I'm going here. Okay. So, circuitry? Uh, plating. While we're at it, let's pick up these power cells, I guess. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Circuitry, plating. And what was the other thing? Wire, copper, glass. Oh, there's some in here as well, because it was waiting to be made. Uh, wire, copper, and glass. Let's go get that wire. Decryption computer. So I'm guessing this goes on top. Oh, there you go. There we go. Uh, so what's next? 
Oh, that's it? So I guess we need... Power cells? And... Encrypted schematic? Power cell... Costs 500, sure. Within an army... I don't think this is how decryption works. <laughs> Within an army, as weapons do, the soldiers serve... Does this keep going if I walk away? Yeah. Soldiers serve, soldiers serve different purposes. That distinction... Let's come back. And I'll make a little chest. Uh, for the rest of the schematics that we need to decrypt. Might actually end up needing more of these uh, power cells. Let's see. Where did I put the rest of the factories? That's weird. Where did I? Oh, here they are. We've got another nine. That should be overkill. Just when I want my uh, ice rod, we don't have it. I'm just going to be lazy here. No, I got rid of all of them. learned how to create new things. That looks like it belonged in a different game, the way that text popped up. Within an army, as weapons do, the soldiers serve different purposes. That distinction is crucial as the wrong tool in the wrong hands. No matter how potent, may as well be a wooden club. Seek out my base of operations closest to the lizard's home. I wish you the best of luck. With all sincerity, for it has been a long time since I have had a worthy test subject. Didn't we just give it the jungle one? We did not, actually. Uh, so what does it mean by you have learned to make new things? Exactly. Let's do jungle next. Whoops. Encryp encryption unsolvable. What? Is it going to be the same for all of the other schematics? I can't even put this here. Oh, this one wasn't even... Like, decrypt. This was the only one that we didn't have to decrypt, I guess. Upgrades required. Presumably these upgrades are... What I learned to make. Computer. Uh... What new things did I learn to make? Taser? No, this is all low tier stuff. Decrypt a schematic from the lab deep within the frozen caverns. View an unencrypted schematic from the lab near the sunken sea. 
That's this one. So, I should have done this stuff before hard mode, it looks like. Am I going to get anything that's relevant uh, gameplay-wise? So is this what it was referring to when it said I learned to make new things? And if so, how do I upgrade the computer? Upgrades required. Um, let's see everything we can make with the mysterious circuitry. That's all of this. Advanced display... No. Uh, it's going to be a process looking through these. Long-ranged sensor array. Okay. We need mithril bars and wires. Uh, I'm already holding everything else. Mithril bars. Oh, this is pre-hard mode. Long range sensor array allows you to decrypt the jungle schematic. Okay, fantastic. Do I slap it on this? Yes, indeed. And this will be the next breadcrumb, right? 950. I think we are actually going to need more of these power cells than we've already got. Alright, we'll come back to that in just a moment. I wonder what we'll need next. Let's keep the glass and wire and the circuitry. Let's get some Plantera vibes in here. Sell this. Okay. It's just slow enough that I shouldn't start reading just yet. What else can we do? Let's do a fishing quest real quick. Caught in Brimstone Crag. I didn't know that we would have fishing quests. Is this the Brimstone Crag? Uh, that go into the new biomes, that is. I guess we can find out. It's probably going to be a nightmare to... to try and fish while we're there. Let's get our bait before we get there. Where is my bait? Oh, right, I forgot. I sorted all of this a while ago. Um, and it got all messed up. Master bait. What did that just say? Oh, I think the decryption finished. You've learned to make new items? Okay. As rank progresses, so often does the lethality of equipment in the hands of competent soldiers. The weapons have the ability to make change, however... Blah blah blah. If you read this, you've come far. Do not disappoint. Now go to hell for the next component stored in what were once my forges. Okay. And we need the underworld one now. Encryption unsolvable. Upgrades required. Uh, is this it? Allows you to decrypt the ice biome schematic. Uh, so that's a no. Allows you to decrypt jungle, ice... Lab seeking mechanism? That would have been handy. 
I guess we still haven't found the one in the ice biome. It'll give us circuitry and plating. Uh, let's let's do that. I want to see how this looks. Iron plate and we might have to narrow this down a little bit. Whoops. Oh, rather iron bar. My factorio is showing. Where do I craft this? At an anvil. Iron, dubious plate, mysterious circuitry. We've got all that. Let's let's separate the anvil from everything else. Here it is. Lab seeking mechanism. Material. Move swiftly towards a lab within the sky. Purple seeking mechanism, red seeking mechanism. Huh. What? Oh, does this do nothing until I upgrade it? Do I have to make it specifically to find the ice biome? Move swiftly towards a lab deep below the desert. Uh, well, we don't have that one. Current charge. Okay, so water bucket? Let's, let's make a water bucket. Give to me some iron bucket, please. And then... Where's the sink? I'm standing in front of it. I can't make a water bucket with the sink, I guess. Let's go get some water. Doxilos, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How's it going? Not too bad. Thanks for asking. So what, what are we making? Uh, we need an anvil, water bucket, and lab seeking mechanism. That's what we've got. Am I blind? Oh, there it is. Cyan seeking mechanism. Move swiftly towards a lab below the desert. It needs to be charged, I guess. Let's grab our charging station and power cells. And I'm guessing that's not enough. 57%. Okay, so this should finish it off. There we go. And it's showing us the way. It seems to be pointing at the lab we just found, actually. It says below the desert, and that is true of the one in the sunken sea. And we did use a water bucket, uh to make it. But that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, so how do we make one for the ice biome? I think that's the only one we haven't found, right? There's five of them. Uh, let's see. Within the sky, we found that very easily. Uh, underworld we've found. Frozen caverns I haven't found. We need 50 ice. There it is. And jungle we've found. Okay. 50 ice. Found 
Fantastic. In before... Actually, I did find the edge of the lab somewhere before. Doesn't look like it, though. I wish they would make something like that for the temple. <laughs> it took literally hours to find. I guess, uh... The lab is near the temple, right? Where is it? That's not that close to the temple. Not so close that we'd necessarily bump into it. Alright, let's get this thing charged. see if we can't find the last schematic. I think it's the last schematic. Well, not schematic. The, uh, the last upgrade we need for this computer thing. What? Mysterious circuitry. Huh? Nani? Okay, that works. So I'm looking for anything that looks like another extension to this machine. Underworld schematic must be decrypted first, but we need... We need the upgrade first. So this is the last one. We've got... The base, the decryption computer, the long-range sensor... Is this it? Advanced display is the only one that doesn't appear in order. So we need three life alloy, which we've got. I think I've got that in here. Life alloy, advanced display. Okay, so for some reason adding a monitor means we can decrypt better. Let's do our little fishing quest while we wait for that. Oh yeah, I made a teleporter for this. That's good. Um, do I have the bait? I do. Fishing gear. Is that it? That's our, that's our quest item. That was easy. I'd like to see what else I can get from here, though, before something nasty shows up. Weirdly, we are only getting the enemies that would spawn here pre-hard mode, and not those super nasty uh, post-boss thingies. This is nice and manageable. Okay, that decryption should be just about done. Let's head back. Only the highest ranking in the battalions of Yaram's army held these weapons, however... These are still not my most potent tools, those characters could not be trusted with them. The final piece remains. Travel now from the hottest fire this land has to offer to the most frigid cold. I cannot deny having some sense of poetic something. Symmetry. I thought there would be more. Ok, 
Okay, so the ones we've already looked at are down here. Uh, this was already decrypted. So we just need to go to the ice lab. Let's put all this stuff back for the moment. Oh, don't forget to hand in the quest fish. I should really improve the look of this place. I don't think the uh I don't think the ocean torches make it easy to see in here. Yeah, that's that's actually an improvement. I'll have another look at that later. Don't need another so uh, actually. Put this over here. Whoops. And what are these good for? Nothing but sashimi. Chaotic fish. Right click to extract essence of chaos. Okay, I forgot about that. Uh, Void Bag has... what in it? It's not that exciting... Yeah, I remember these. Um, it's not that great. We can just quick stack those away. Alright, sell the mana... Potion. Put the wires away. Uh, probably get rid of the coral torch. And I think this used 15% of its charge whenever we use it, right? So we can we can use it six times. We should probably... before we have to recharge it, that is. I'll bring a charging station and a bunch of... I'm sure it'll stack super high. Let's just bring all of the power cells. A slight chore picking them up though. We've only got 361 left. That's not quite right. Okay. Away we go. To the underground uh, ice plane. I, I was meaning to come here to get, I forget which resource, ages it. Deerclops has awoken. <laughs> Well, that was a surprise. Thank you for stopping by. Okay, let's head down to about the middle. Uh, I'll, I'll go down here. Of our underground ice biome. What's this? Aziz Light? nothing, basically. I, s I think I see stairs. Let me teleport. Nope, that's not stairs. Rip. Oh, we need ice turtles. No rare creatures nearby. I think I saw that change. Essence of a loom. 
and cryonic ore. That's what we needed before. We'll probably need more of it. Alright, let's head through here. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Never mind the seeking mechanism. <laughs> this right about here was where I was about to use it, and we just stumbled right into it. Amazing. Give me that. In we go. What's this? Turret. Bad turret. We got a blizzard in a balloon. That's nice. I can I can start putting together the bundle of balloons that I had before that I foolishly turned into the mother of all balloons. I guess we don't need this stuff. Take the ice chest. And someone really went to some trouble building these science bases. They're very nice. Okay. There's our schematic. Uh, I guess I'll take more power cell factories. I'll make a nice big room for them, perhaps. Charging stations. I'm going to be disappointed if what we're working towards is just obsolete now. That's a touch plate. No, it's not. That's a gem. Okay. Are we about done here? You know what? I could almost see myself making this a NPC home. Uh, I'm sure it, it's not suitable right now. Too big. If we broke it into pieces... Maybe one at the top, one at the bottom? Hmm... It would be hard to make this one look suitable without completely tearing it up. Maybe some of the other ones. Let's head back for now. Power thingies. I said power thingies. Upgrades required. It allows you to encrypt. Okay, we need ancient manipulator. Luminite bars. Okay, so this isn't... Oh yeah, I forgot. Life alloy implies it's not all pre-hard mode. U Uli Bloom bar. We don't have that yet. So this is where our... Our trail ends for now. A freezing tundra where only creatures entirely adapted to the sub-zero temperatures exist and try. It's a shocking transition from the forests of the purity and the sun-baked desert. A climate like this should not exist naturally in this part of the world with ease. The weather patterns seem to shift unnaturally around the skies, these icy plains. Trying to explain video game biomes. <laughs> Intriguing though embedded deep in the caverns of ice and were uh, one for centuries of frost and meltwater. 
I uncovered several mechanisms which once filled the tunnels here. The ingenuity present is remarkable, and I found parallels within my own work, as well as devices even I have something to learn from. Where do these come? Why machinery so complex and so sparse and dreary a habitat? Perhaps they're related to the unnatural conditions. I'm not the only singular being to inhabit this biome. Once before the Archmage... Oh yeah, we met him. Cloaked by constant artificial blizzards of his own creation, which no longer fall, he's likely... He likely chose this place as a conduit for research into his ice spells. The extended period of time that this place remained frozen, deep underground... Okay. A bow shock. Evil plug. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, so I guess we're putting this stuff away for now. Can I maybe... Let's make another room. Logs can go in here. What is this? SPHC. Oh, mithril bars? Suspicious scrap. Where does suspicious scrap come from? 24 magic damage. We definitely missed this one. Buys plasma orbs that linger and emit massive explosives. Right click to fire powerful energy beams. Uh, suspicious scrap. It doesn't come from crafting or a drop. So we just have to find it in a chest somewhere. Or maybe from... a goodie bag? Um, alright. Let's get this stuff out of the way. Oh, wow, it drops it all. It's separate parts. Alright, so this is how many tiles? Uh, 23. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and twelve. I think that's it. We should just do away with the partition for this one. Let's put our stuff in here. And... Decryption computer in the middle, perhaps? That's the wrong one. Where's the base? Breaker base. How many tiles wide is this? Well, that should look pretty much like the middle anyway. Am I missing anything else? Not that I can see. Cell factories over here. And maybe we could have some more on platforms. Hello, how far are you into the game? Uh, let's see. We're about this far into the game. Haven't done Leviathan, Astrum Aureus. 
Astrum Aureus. Wait, wait, wait. What happened to... Oh, that is Astrum Aureus. Leviathan, Astrum Aureus, Profaned Guardians, Providence, and so on. We haven't done yet. I don't know where I'm going to squeeze this in. Let's just put these here. Actually, I feel like fighting something. Let's come back to that. Oh yeah, I was going to try the Profaned Guardians. Uh, where's the summon for them? Here it is. And I don't think we need Potion of Omniscience this time. Don't need Night Owl or Shine Potion. I'm only putting these away because... There's a limit to how many buffs we can fit. What should be my slot 2 weapon right now? Grab the ice rod. Since I was looking for it before. Okay. So we've got Planetary Annihilation for homing, and I don't really see myself using anything else this fight. Let's move all our potions over, I guess. Could you get out of the way of the buff stations? Thank you. All right. So last I fought these things with a tanky build and it was way too slow. Or it looked like it was way too slow. It's hard to see the health bar properly. Um, and then I thought, okay, so I just need to emulate that on Ranger. Because that's our best DPS class for the moment. Uh, hopefully. Whoa, 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 what? Seriously? <sighs> Hopefully, we can pull that off. Could you stop? It's not funny. You're not clever. Okay. Back to full health. Got our buffs. Summon. Bow. And away we go. And I just need to try and... Oh no. Oh no. Okay, 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 okay. That's not a good start. That's a really bad start. Two hits, really. Okay, that's nice. Um. Oh, I forgot. They're not... They're, they're still here. Okay. Well. We can try. So the idea was to go round and round in circles in a pattern that was relatively easy to dodge, which I was able to slip into very easily with uh, with the melee class. But I haven't been so lucky as Ranger. I don't want to go to the Hallow until they're almost here, because I don't want those stupid fiery things spawning. Alright, here we are in the Hallow, and they shouldn't be enraged. And we basically want to go around in circles. Basically. some variation. Of 
because we're getting run out of space sometimes. Okay, so it's it's when we do this part of the lap, it seems like, is the biggest problem. So I should probably rush ahead and do this. And that'll give us more time with them below us and homing missiles. We'll find purchase more often. Oh yeah, I can fly up fast, I almost forgot. Okay, I think this is working. And I wouldn't even need a soaring insignia for it. Yeah, it's really more of a cylinder. Well, not a cylinder. It's a very elongated knot circle that works best for these guys. Okay, we do have to fall fast, otherwise we're going to run out of space. Shouldn't have done that. Too greedy. Dash. Up we go. Uh, what time is it? They're gonna leave at night, aren't they? Oh well, this is a good practice run. I don't think we can finish them off in time. Oh crap, okay, okay. It really only takes two mistakes to die, if that. Let's leave. I want to try and see how much health uh, the healer had though. Okay, never mind, never mind. Uh, Forget everything. Forget I said anything. Oh, that's unfortunate. Why were they spamming shots down so fast? I guess that's what they're like when they're enraged. Tumbling satellite, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Elongated long circle? An ellipse? Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Uh, Trex? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Uh, is this master mode? Yes, it is. How did I get Unholy Essence? Unholy Essence. Providence the Profaned Goddess. Did I kill the healer? No way. That means we were so close to finishing. <laughs> Uh, if I'd started that, like, two minutes prior, it would have been a simple matter. Hey, Jimbo Panda. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, so I guess I need to look on the ground... It's, it's probably over there in the hello where we were doing that circuit. But I need to find... Now I don't have my shine potions. As is light. This is one way to do it. Oh, go away. I, I I want to throttle whoever thought these scorn eaters were a fun idea. Every time I'm in one of those two biomes and I'm just trying to sort something out, they just appear. 
Um, I don't see any... I don't see any of this unholy essence. It's very weird that there would be just five of it lying around. Maybe it's up in the sky. What is this floating in the air? Oh, oh, it is in the sky. Well, there it is. Unholy essence. That's that thing that I thought was a brick somehow sitting there. Let's turn on the treasure magnet in case I'm somehow missing some more of it. Oh, get lost. They used to be great as they dropped one plat each. One plat is not enough compensation. Scorn Eaters are annoying pre-providence, but after that you can one-shot them anyway. Yeah, I don't even care, like... They're, they're just obnoxious. Um, so what can we do with Unholy Essence? Probably not... This is probably like getting 17 Demon Ore from Eater of Worlds. Probably not a whole lot yet. Uh, we can make stronger holy arrows, basically. Holy fire bullet. Stronger explosive arrows. We can make die. We can make... Transforms you into an emissary of the profaned goddess. Merchants will reject a defiled soul such as this. Does it actually do anything, or is it vanity? Elderberry. Permanent increase to maximum life by... Oh. Oh! Wait, we still need divine geodes. And Yuli Bloom bars. Never mind. Uh, profaned Crucible. Used for special crafting. Probably don't need that. Crystal. What does this make? Is it just... Uh, it's probably just cosmetic. Profaned living fire block. Profaned rock and so on. Holy wrath potion. We could make a few of these. Damage by 12% and your attacks, inf attacks inflict holy fire. Um, it lasts longer as well. While this potions buff is active, the wrath, wrath potions buff is disabled. Fair enough. Alternatively, we could use 40 blood orbs instead of one Galactica Singularity. Uh... So yeah, we've got better Wrath Potions now. I could just make 20 of those. Uh, what's this? Increases Crit Strike by 12%, so this is the equivalent for the Rage Potion. Uh, Supreme Healing Potion. Did I... I thought I made some of those already. I make a healing potion. I think the supreme healing potions are in here. Yeah. Uh, I wonder where I got the unholy essence before. Profane shard. Oh, we need this to summon the profaned guardians. Where on earth did I get... From the Scorn Eaters. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Oh, that means we need to farm them. What else can we do with these 
unholy essences. Rune of Kos contains the power haunted relentlessly by the sentinels of Cosmic Devourer. When used in certain areas of the world, it will unleash them. That's weird. Not consumable. So it summons a boss? Divine Retribution. Mage is superior to road. Look, we got a donor weapon to prove it. 54 magic damage doesn't sound like a lot. 14 mana, that's terrible. And it's... So it's, it smells like a slight upgrade to this weapon, which I don't know how to make. Where do I get these U Yuli Bloom bars? Can be crafted. Yuli Bloom ore. Bloom slime. Where, where on earth do we get Bloom Slime? We haven't encountered those, right? No. Uh, good question. And what was the other thing? Divine Geode. That's from the boss we just tried to kill. Actually, the Prince, 230 magic damage, 11 mana. It sounds good. It's also a material. Uh, we can't make it till we beat the boss. Can't make that until we find those slimes. Casts a beaming flower that explodes into homing petals. Judging by the damage, we should have this already. Yuli Bloom spawns after Providence. Okay. So you're telling me this weapon is post-Providence. It looks very, very, very weak for that. Uh, we can upgrade the Possessed Hatchet. Alright. So none of this is happening until we beat that boss. We can upgrade spiky balls with it as well. Alright, so I guess we're making better damage potions. For all the good that'll do. Uh, let's see. Unholy Essence. That's a lot of blood orbs. How many blood orbs do we have? We can farm them with relative ease, but I could make like, t that's a lot of blood orbs actually, I could make like 20 of each. Um, or we could go Galactica Singularity, it's not that hard to farm fragments. Galactica Singularity. Oh, we're running out of solar. Whoops. And... Potion and Essence. We can make 12 of each. That's not that bad, considering they last five minutes. So we've we've gained like base approximately base four percent DPS from that. Wow. And singularities go here. Okay. Uh, we need to make sure it's morning when we start the fight this time. Let's re- Oops. Uh, let's reset time before we do. 
And I think we've got enough of all of our potions. This Thorn Blossom is really strong against bigger bosses. Oh, kind of like uh, worm bosses and stuff. Consider a shotgun. If you take its damage stat, it looks weak, but that's not considering how many projectiles come out. Okay. I didn't mention multiple projectiles. Alright, 4.30 a.m. Buff and go. Uh, where's my weapon? There we go. it up. It would be good if that island wasn't in the way, but then I would probably go to space and they would enrage. Oh, that's moving, isn't it? Oh, that was awkward. Okay, we, I think we're good now. That's bad, I shouldn't have waited that long. Let's use this one. I know we're losing damage on the drop down because of the way this bow works, but the DPS increase compared to my next best weapon is enough that I don't really feel the need to bother switching. Especially because I don't need one more thing to think about during this boss fight. I can't even tell how much I'm hitting the healer, but considering there's a spread of homing missiles, um, and until they miss once they don't seek too strongly, uh, it's probably fine. I'm guessing the healer is in the back. So we'll try and angle things to hit there. Getting the gist of it now. Should have done a fast fall there. Maybe I should use like celebration or something because uh, maybe the homing missiles are not getting to the healer. Oh, I think I saw a big change in the health bar for a second when it was showing the healer, maybe. Yeah, 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 we're, we're like a fifth of the way through, maybe. I think I just lost my dodge, I 
didn't. That was a while ago, actually. I wonder if I could come up with a movement pattern that does a better job of letting us hit the healer. More horizontal movement when we're going up seems to be the way to go. Whoops, that was the wrong couple of buttons. Yeah, I shouldn't have done this. That was costly. I think we've recovered now. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I was trying to find the, the, a different button. What am I doing? Now we've reversed our direction. <laughs> That's okay, I suppose. Uh, why did my dash not work? Need to recover. Would it count as using an arena if I made the halo bigger? Oh crap. I looked at the time because I was worried we were running out. We're nowhere near running out. I just gotta get back into the groove. That was close. Let me out. Okay, can we get this to go left? Uh, like counterclockwise again, because I was somehow more comfortable with that. Maybe it's the shape of the terrain. Okay. I guess it's useless to... oh crap. I guess it's useless to aim the bullets at them, because we're never going to hit the healer in the back that way. Yeah, I should just keep doing what I'm doing. than I thought it would be. Alright, we're at full health but no dodge. It's not that bad. Okay. Okay. It's not really... Seriously. And the fun thing is, I have no idea how close I got, Remind because I can't see... I can't see the one health bar that matters, like, 99% of the time. It is a tedious marathon of a fight. It was around 5%? <laughs> Lovely. Do I have a weapon that would do a better job of hitting the healer? I could use the crystal stuff as well. Um, especially in the moments where I'm falling, I'm not going to be able to hit them. I could refresh the crystal stuff there. Do I have minions that would hit anything but the one at the front? Probably not. It wouldn't be a whole lot of difference in damage anyway.
I could try spamming celebration at them. Or I could try... I don't think bullets, even if they're not homing bullets, are going to find their mark. Like, almost ever. I shouldn't have built that wizard tower. <laughs> it's in the way. This would be the perfect spot to fight them. I guess I was... I was doing an ellipse about here. I could do it here. I don't want to be in danger of going to space and have them enraged, though. Evict him? <laughs> no. I could always make more hallow, but that feels like cheating. That feels like conceding to building an arena. <sighs> I think we just have to do that, but 7% longer. Let's reset to 4.30 a.m. How much ammo do I have? Oh, right, all of it, because I was using Endless Quiver. Because it has to be wooden arrows with this bow. How oh, could you... Stop. Literally just here for five seconds, making sure I've got my potions and stuff. And the sky is filled with very persistent fireballs. Okay. Um, I would prefer if we can get the counterclockwise rotation. Even if I have to take a hit for it. But yeah, I wanted to do this as well. Not that I think it'll make that much difference. What the? Why? Why? Okay, why were there fireballs to the left? I'd been pulling them in one direction, like specifically just this direction, and when I go over here there's already a bunch of fireballs in the way. This is much further than I ever got in Terraria. Uh, yeah, it's Calamity, it adds a bunch of stuff. It's a lot longer than the base game as well. Westy X, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Remove the floating island. I think that would be creating an arena. I, I think one could could argue that. The idea is to leave the world basically intact. At least we can see that we've done 8% to the healer already. That's surprisingly good. I'm waiting here because I don't want those stupid Scoria things to spawn. Alright, they're here. Okay. So I need to be more strict about herding them in a particular pattern so that I don't just get trapped by their fireballs. Oh, crap. There we go. The sentry was still there. Don't have to think too hard about replacing it every lap. Okay. 
I forgot. Falling, falling isn't fast enough to not get trapped by these things. We have to do special falling and special flight. I wouldn't mind if it was just, like, difficult to dodge their stuff, but the way they make you run out of space if you don't completely manage their projectiles beforehand... Like, almost like that. It's not... like, it's a factor of luck that I, that I had a gap to squeeze through, really. Okay. Okay. Healer sixty one per cent. We got our <laughs> rip. NPCs. Uh, we've got our cooldowns as well. I'm just going to take a moment more than I need to here to try and relax. So I'm finding this boss very obnoxious. I should just hang in the air until they get back. Oh, that was faster than expected. Okay. Can I dodge? Oh no. Oh no, you're joking. Okay. That was a good waste of time. If they just didn't enrage outside the hollow, this would be so much less obnoxious. I'd still need to change direction a lot, but I wouldn't have to confine myself to this little space. I should have realized I did I had the shiny stone in the way. Um when I wasn't going fast here. Wasting buff potions as well. Here they come. Look at that. The whole sky got a bunch of fireballs in it. me to run into at speed. That was bad. We got very lucky there with the uh, slime mount bouncing off of them. Yeah. 
Okay, okay. It's very deceptive the way those fireballs move. Healer twenty six percent. It may as well be a thousand percent for how it feels right now. I could try doing it. No, the terrain's gonna mess me up there. I could try doing it here and hope they don't enrage from this spot. Let me see exactly what biome that counts as. Okay, so... This counts as hallow? I think we'll do it here. Try not to run into the Sky Island. We need to reset time again. And no doubt a Scoria is about to show up. Okay, that's cool. I had lots of time to react to that. I think I've had enough of fighting this boss. I've, I've really had enough of fighting this boss. My patience is at an end. It's not a fun fight. We're just trying to create a very specific shape of movement so that we actually don't get trapped by the fireballs and so that they don't fly in off the screen effectively super, super fast. Crunky Dan, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It's like bullet hell, but if this was your screen to work with. What can we do instead? Astrum Aureus. That would be the first time I think I've ever seen you not complete a challenge, not criticizing, just observing. I, I mean, I'll get it eventually, but I'm just absolutely done with this boss in particular. Uh, I just find the design of it extremely obnoxious. It's not a good challenge. Like, beating Duke Fisheron with early equipment is a good challenge. Um, apart from a little bit of luck involved in where the tornadoes are going to end up, which you can somewhat manage, you basically... It's mostly your fault uh, whether you beat them or not. You know, the threat is there in front of you. You can see what you need to do. Uh, but with this, it's just like, we're trying preemptively to control their projectiles, which fly all over the place. Uh, we're, we're stochastically trying to control their projectiles so that we ju don't just end up trapped if we dodge them in a way that's like reactive and would make sense on a first attempt. This boss drops the item you need to spawn the next, yeah. Um, let's get our tanky armor on. Put 
this away. Actually, well, I'll want a warding version of that if I'm going to use it with the tank stuff. And so our insignia can go here. The fact that you can't see the health bar of the one boss that matters 99% of the time as well uh, is not encouraging. Oh, when one's factory design sucks. BG Nyman, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Dodge goes here. And... Yeah, this should be fine. Let's put the weapons away for the moment. I should find something to replace Scorpio. And where are our melee weapons? Here we go. I never... I wasn't finding myself using Starlight a whole lot. The Briny Baron really just overshadows everything else for the most part. What's this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is probably going to become our easy hit spam. And solar eruption about here. Unholy essence can go in here, I guess. We're not summoning this thing again. Uh which summoning item are we looking for? Astral Chunk. And we've got... Damage Reduction, Damage, Swiftness, Food. Oh, I didn't have Yarim Stimulants this whole time, I think. Defense by 10... Damage reduction by 4%, damage by 5%, crit strike by 2. Who knows, maybe that would have been the difference. Movement and melee speed by 7%? Yeah, that might have been the difference between winning and losing. Um, let's make some. I need... Uh, either way too many blood orbs, or... Food, Endurance, Iron Skin, Swiftness, Titan. Titan Potions. Uh, let's get more than this. Where are the Titan Potions? I'm sure someone sells Titan Potions, right? Clothia's Wrath. Oh, I remember this. Do you sell Titan Potions? El Pancho. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I don't know if someone does sell Titan Potions, actually. Ten Blood Orbs or... Bone, Deathweed, Shiverthorn. Titan Potion. Yeah, I think I remember crafting these, actually. Alright, that's a good few. And stimulants. Oh, let's not use our bacon for that. Um, let, in fact, let's put the bacon safely away. 
I do need some more bacon. Where did I put those... pig granadas? I know I have a bunch of them lying around somewhere. Um, but yeah, this will do. Food. Stimulants. Go. What did I just run out of? It wasn't food. I think it was swiftness potions. Someone sells those, right? That's Night Owl. Swiftest Potion. That was maybe a bit much. It's fine. Uh, I didn't even notice I had thorns. We're actually down to 45 iron skin. Oops, that's not a regen potion, that's explosives. Okay. Yarim's stimulants. Fantastic. Given that they last 30 minutes, we're probably not going to go through 56 too quickly. Uh, what was here? Food. Bacon. And... Did I put my pig granadas in here? No? Oh, here they are. Yes. No, that's Flask of Party. I'm not terribly interested in Flask of Party, actually. Um... I might just have to buy more. Flask of... They're in here as well? Why is Flask of Party in two places? Yeah, I'm... It's probably going to be, be easier to just buy more pink granadas. I never did get the discount card. Oh well. Uh, party mode on. And peak Renata. Oh, that was maybe more than I meant to get. And yes, this is the most sensible way to get the best food that lasts more than four minutes. We've only got like three more so far. There we go. Just about another minute of this and we'll have 20 something bacon. is a good start, I guess. Let's sell the rest back to a... Don't sell the astral chunk. And... I need to get used to... I'm 
melee again. I haven't actually tried this weapon much. Okay, it's it's not that strong, but it it has it throws seeking stuff through walls. So there's that. Oh good, it's snowing. I was afraid I'd be able to see what I can do uh, what I'm doing. Um I think I'll probably put the Terrarian on slot four though. It's way stronger. Oh, it's slot F. We don't need ammo reservation potions right now. And I think we're as ready as we're gonna be. Oh wait, I didn't swap this out, did I? Also, I was using I was using the wadding ninja belt before that. That meant we took slightly longer. Oh, this is what I want now. But I wonder where the other ninja belt went. Uh, that also means it took slightly longer to kill the boss. That might have made the difference. Menacing warding. There we go. All right. So we got as much defense as possible. We should be able to stand very close indeed to this boss. Not only dealt 39 damage, but it's still a bit too close. When is it going to stop with the projectiles? Here we go. Getting this pattern at all. Okay, dodging through it is not so good. It's not like deer clots. Do I just need to run away from it horizontally more? So flying is a no-go, but... I think we need to stay like like 20, 15 tiles away from it on the ground. I could almost see myself using the shiny stones since I'd spend a lot of time standing still, but not that much time. Oh right, the pylon's dead. Okay. Let's try that again. Why do I only have one minion? Let's get sharpening minion and head on over. I was wondering, Hacks, may I give you three accessories to recommend that might help? Uh, sure. I forgot we have a teleport as well, as far as the boss is concerned. Now then. I should probably wait till the snow goes away, I can't see anything. The Absorber... Seraph Traces... to replace the hover. Yeah, no, we're not... we're not using Seraph. Um, the the hoverboard abilities are too good. Or rather, I don't think the hoverboard can make you go up super fast with the celest uh, Celestial Starboard. But that's, like, required. Alright. 
Alright. Is the snow gonna stop one day? Maybe. Batsu, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Maybe if I make it morning. I doubt if that'll get the snow to go away. Let's try the uh what is it called? The sundial. Enchanted sundial. I don't know if it hurries up the weather or not. I think you can still wear both. Uh, when I crafted the mother of all balloons, it wouldn't let me wear wings as well as that. Anything that counts as wings is only one, as far as I've seen. Alright, I can deal with this level of snow. How long has this world been running for? Uh, I don't know. Can we stop getting the ants? Uh, I do need the ninja belt. There we go. Abyssal diving suit plates durability. It's not moving. Durability. The plates will only take 50 damage if the damage taken... Take damage if the damage taken is over 50. Once it takes too much damage, it'll take 3 minutes to regenerate. So it has to be broken? Before it'll regen? Now we're wasting buff time. And these Holy Wrath and Profaned Rage are not cheap. Uh, okay, let's just try it. Why can't I summon it? Enrages during the day. Use it during night time. I didn't know that. Where's the... Wait, what? Where? Oh no. Oh no. Where is my Cosmolite? Here it is. Okay, thank goodness. Alright, it's night time. Got our buffs. Probably want to stay at about maximum yo yo range? Question mark? Alright, this is more like it. I think. What the? It's doing something different. Okay, that's. Um, what? What? Excuse me, sir. What? He's dying rather quickly, though. Apparently I can go over him if I don't fly too high. Oh, where'd he go? He's almost dead. Yes. Okay, that wasn't well played, but I didn't have to last that long. I wonder if the Terrarian wouldn't be that bad against the... No, I, I, I very much doubt we'd get hits on the healer with this. What's that? Calamity? Yes, indeed. It only gives defense in liquids. This suit's armor plates reduces damage taken by 15%. Reduces the damage caused by pressure, bleed. Is 
You also fall faster in liquids. No, it's uh, it works out of outside of liquids. We did test it. Pandy own stairs. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right, can we try that again? Only better this time. I wasn't expecting the um, attacks to shift so quickly because I didn't realize how quickly we were killing him. This is going a lot more smoothly to say the least. one hit. Um, alright, let's farm him, I guess. That was a lot easier. Okay. Little, little tiny piece of terrain just somehow blocked my movement. Definitely a lot easier with a tanky class. Let's make the most of our buff potions here. Should have used the hoverboard there. waiting for the shots from up top and then he just teleported behind me. to move. Yeah, my assumption before based on what he did when I flew was whenever I go above him I would get severely punished. And now that I know I can just be slightly above him like that with no penalty it's a lot easier. Whoops. Are you going to stop that pattern yet? There we go. Oops. 
What is that? What time is it? 2.30? We could do one more. Not that I couldn't just manipulate time anyway. We just lost our dodge to that snipe from off screen. Well played, little little enemy. Oh my god, they're not they're still spawning. The Archmage has a lot of health. Okay. Look how much I can... <laughs> Look how much damage I can take from this guy. Jeez. Yeah, I'm getting super careless now. Last one. There we go. Let's take a little break from boss fighting. And see what we get. Why not use Yo-Yo Master? They buffed it, it was 1% in 1.3 on to farm. Oh god. Uh, I don't usually use yo-yos, so I don't know the items. Community is B-I-S for all content? B-I-S. I didn't beat Leviathan yet, though. That's correct. Alright, so we've got the Astrum Aureus Relic. Uh, which is... Supposedly, just two after the Ice Queen. Is this the Ice Queen? I think it is. And the next one is Gollum? Wait, what? The next one is... This is supposedly easier than Gollum. Are you joking? <laughs> if we believe the ordering of Boss Log. Uh, I kind of, sort of, accidentally... I, I should really move that NPC house. I usually like to have it underground in the cold biome. Especially since we've got this pylon right here if, if we want to go to the surface. Yeah, I think I'll, um... Maybe clean this house up a bit and make it an NPC home. But first, let's check out our loot. Uh, let's sell the extra relics. The Titanic Cyborg infected by a starborn disease expelled from the belly of an ancient god will not prevent the spread of the disease. Oops. Alright, may as well stand here and see what's in the bag. We got Aureus Cells. Restores 200 mana. Not as good as the super mana potions we've already got. Increased mana regen and magic power. That's pretty convenient. But... I don't love the idea of having to farm that boss for them. I don't suppose it gives us one buff. Is it a material? It is a material. Uh, I don't suppose it gives us one buff for magic power and regen. It does not. 
So we're not saving any buff slots like we do with uh, Potion of Omniscience, for example. Uh, let's see. Rapid Oro Radical Throw. It's a rogue weapon. Oh, it goes through the walls. <laughs> it's actually pretty cool. Launches a star that splits after a short period of time. Split stars home in on nearby enemies after a few seconds. I guess it would be kind of unfair if this was the only class that didn't get that sort of thing. Stealth Strike summon a media upon enemy impact. Insane knockback. Uh, what's this? Suspicious looking jelly bean? <laughs> what? Where does this go? It's a mount? What? Oh my god. <laughs> I approve. But this is still the only one that's combat relevant. I finished Cultist before I beat that one. Cultist. Best in slot. Wait, best in slot. What's this? Gravistar Sabaton. Tap the down key to increase your fall speed for five seconds. This has an eight second cooldown. Striking the ground with increased fall speed will cause an astral explosion. Is this why there was talk of them nerfing the slime mount into the ground? Because their idea for an item wouldn't have been relevant? Double tap. Tap down to increase fall speed. It's just one tap. Wait, how fast do we fall with it? Okay, so normal full speed caps at 51, and this goes to 102, which is the same as with the mount. You asked about BIS best in slot? We were talking about an accessory. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's pretty underwhelming, especially for an accessory slot. Like, extremely underwhelming, actually. Even if we didn't have the slime mount. Although, I shudder to imagine that it would be kind of necessary. What else have we got? Godly Aurora Blazer. It doesn't use ammo. Oh, it uses uh, gel, actually. Astral flames that travel in star-shaped patterns, even through the walls. It's very weak. Wow, it's extremely weak, it looks like. This is looking like very much one of those bosses that is never, ever worth the effort of beating it when you're supposedly level appropriate summons aureus bombers to fight for you explode on enemy impact do not consume minion slots oh finally is this what i think it is now have it's only 43 summon damage serious never mind this is like only the second uh, weapon like this that I found, like the slime puppet stuff, but this is looking like almost the same DPS. This is barely an upgrade. Oh, okay, this one's masterful and this one isn't, but still. It's like a homing missile spell for summoners. Any kind of spell for summoners that does summon damage. Um, is what I'm interested in at the moment. But like, I, I was I was very disappointed 
like maybe I missed it somehow, but we haven't had uh, something like this in forever for a summoner. Eprevor, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Beating the boss triggers drops from other astral mobs too. They drop new items. Interesting. Uh, Javier, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's put this away somewhere. Um... Where did I get these from? Oh, when we went to the underground ice biome. Abandoned slime staff. 70 summon damage, 34 mana. Casts down cast down from the heavens in disgust. This relic sings a song of quiet tragedy. Consumes all of the remaining minion slots on use. Must be used from the hot bar. Okay. Holding this weapon grants 10% increased jump speed. What? I can't see myself using that. And apparently you need more than two minion slots to use it at all. No, oh, that doesn't go there. Uh, what's this? Alula Australis. So it's the spell what also does Star Fury? A beautiful aurora trade by, trailed by a star shower. It's very awkward with that curve. Let's put this in the collection. Uh, Aurora Blazer, also going in the collection. Gravitas Sabon, I guess I'll keep just because collection. Rook weapons down here. Stack this stuff away. What's this? Keen Nebulash. Fires a whip, fires a whip sword that emits particle explosions on hit. That's what they mean by whip sword. It's pretty weak compared to what we have now. I mean, not surprisingly. It should be surprising for how much of a nuisance that boss was. Uh, let's stack all this stuff away, and Nebulash will throw in here, I guess. What's this? It's a mask. We just sell that. No value? Perfect. Uh, already stacked that away. Already stacked that away. Have we seen everything? No. Progenitor throws a bombshell that explodes, summoning a meteor to impact the site. Well, sneaky rogue, by the way. Stealth strikes lob a bombshell that additionally splits into comets on hit. stuff away, and I probably filled this with those boots. Um, sell that. Is that everything? Well, I haven't cleaned out my inventory from before, so no. Ice bow isn't a material, we can just get rid of that. Oh, it's actually... I thought this would be an early game uh, weapon, but it's surprisingly high damage. Frostband. These are like hard mode upgrades of 
uh, pre-hop mode weapons, it looks like. And sell that. Yellow seeking mechanism. Oh, that was in the void bag from before. Let's just put it down here. What's this? Deer clumps. Who see the axe? We'll put the deer clops loot uh, on display proudly front and center. Can we empty the void bag now? Not even. Can definitely sell that. Oh, I thought I was selling these. What the hell? You sneak. Loot and so. Uh, what's this? Borealis Bomber. Oh, that's a summon. No, that was that weapon that I just talked about earlier. Alright, let's put all our stuff away. Why do I still have the Mithril Anvil? Okay. Sell, sell, sell... The mana regen and magic power buffs when we used this were very, very short, right? No, six minutes actually. Okay, that's not bad. If we press B, do we consume that as a buff potion, or does it not work that way because 200 mana? I'll drop them in the mage chest. Nobody said rogues can't enter with a boom? Rogue can be so insane you made me start a new playthrough as rogue as I hit 8k DPS against slime god pre-hard mode? Lol. First time I've heard my name pronounced correctly in a bit? Nice. Alright, so let's see what those other enemies drop, I guess. Why do I have a bunch of platforms? Actually, before we do... Let's move the snow biome uh, NPC home. Here is pretty much perfect, I think. Let's grab a bunch of boreal wood. I should have it stored somewhere. You would think all of the woods to would be together after we quicks uh, after we auto sort, but apparently not. We've got no boreal wood. Okay. Step one. Well, step one could actually just be tearing this thing up. But I don't really want to do that to them. What's my best long range? Here we go.
Oh, this thing. No? Maybe I should have brought that weak uh, homing sword. Just because it has good reach. Stellar knife. 50 rogue damage. Did that just say Zawarodo? It did. Throws knives that stop midair and then home into enemies. They don't seem to be doing their job very well. Um, it seems a little weak. I don't know. Ooh. Fishy fishy. I guess we don't really need fishing anymore, probably, for the most part. But I can't help but see enchanted night crawlers pick up enchanted night crawlers. because muscle memory. Another meteor? Or is it adding more weirdness to the sky? Ow. Alright, let's plant... replant these uh, trees. could crank up the spawn rate so we see more of these uh, enchanted night crawlers. I want to see how effective that is. Probably hang around town would be the best way to do that. Seven hundred and twenty-five boreal wood, fantastic. Be free, penguin. I'm not seeing any night crawlers, actually. Okay, I didn't realize just how weak this weapon is. I mean, it's still a great spelunking tool. We can see everything through the walls and and all that. But I was expecting a little more damage than that. 212 true melee damage. It's more damage per hit than our main weapon, but I guess the little sparkies don't do all that much. Uh, what was I doing? Mum can go in with miscellaneous food. Stellar knife can go in here. Whoops. I didn't see a single other enchanted nightcrawler. I guess the spawn rate buff is not that helpful. Well, on the plus side, we don't have to stand around waiting for them. I was wondering what that was. Let's head down. Okay, possessed armors are still surprisingly tanky, but even so, expected more damage. Where are our torches? Bottom left. Or bottom right, rather. I always keep them in the bottom right after doing the torch god so that uh, if we pick up the biome ones, they'll get consumed first. Melee weapon proficiency went up. Fantastic. Skills don't decay, do they? Probably not. What 
was that? There's some stronger stuff here than I would have thought. Uh, this thing makes explosions whenever it hits something directly. Oh. What a blinding light show. Okay, even against those little diggers, this does hardly any damage. The light fragments, that is. So it's really not meant for damage. Let's get our boreal wood walls. Clean this up a bit. We'll need a workbench. This was the one I was going to refurbish, right? Yeah, we're good. That explosion, though. Insane knockback indeed. Somehow we had beams going down to exactly here. And yet, I clearly haven't... Th this slope is natural, otherwise... Like, unless I had gone to the trouble of hammering it out after removing some of the beams. Looks very strange. Alright, let's keep putting these walls back. I guess I should use auto place for the most part. I'll be taking that. Oh, there is a table here already. Never mind. We got doors, we got chairs. Is this housing suitable? It actually already is. What is that? Whatever it is, it's pretty weak. The damage through the walls isn't that terrible if all of it hits. Oh, hello, Earth Elemental. Didn't see you there. I forgot we had the Zerg potion on. A uh, boom! Yeah, this guy doesn't even hurt. Probably have a better tool for this though. <laughs> Punisher Demon, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I probably should kill all of the ice tortoises I see. That's a rare drop from them. Come 
Am I frozen? I'm frozen. Or chilled, rather. Okay. Let's focus, shall we? Perennial oil. Where's my boreal wood, more importantly? Oh, I should put the sentry out. There we go. Much better. Let's make some room. I don't know where I just found phantoplasm. Does that mean we don't have to go to the dungeon for it? Speaking of, we could try that dungeon boss. Persuaded to stop. Thank you. Did you know that T Rex are actually scavengers rather than predators? Uh, no. Should we add a room down below? I think we probably should, especially since we don't have enough beams handy to make this look right. And away we go with the wood. Is way too full. Could you stop filling my inventory with glow sticks? There we go. Give me that wood back. Uh, where is my wood? I know I haven't run out of it yet. Oh, there it is. What? 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 Okay. Boreal wood workbench. Right about here, probably. And... I don't even care that much if it's perfectly symmetrical this time. But if they do happen... It's a one-off. One-off being able to have a tile in the middle. I could put the pylon here. Zayla, thank you very much for the reset. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Two months of Prime, thank you so much. Did you know that the first T-Rex bone was found in 1902? I did not know that. Um, should I just... Uh, wait, you know what, we've got a chest here, why don't I just put things in it? Could, could you stop? Thank you. And... Make more room in the void bag as well, while we're at it. have a path through here. Actually, why don't we just get rid of the ice? Battle. And I want platforms right about here, below where we're going to put 
the uh, pylon. And probably partition that with a couple of doors. Some stairs down here should be fine. It's not working. Okay. Get rid of this painting. Probably just stretch this out a little bit, maybe. Uh, I need some more wooden walls. Let me stack this stuff away. It's actually not going to be enough. Where did my minions go? I should definitely be using a minion that shoots through walls, actually. Let's put that away for the moment. And... Uh, what am I looking for? Godspawn Helix? There we go. Okay. Um, so we've got room for three. And three is all we had, really. The golfer's not supposed to be here. Who's over here? Nobody. That means the ocean pylon isn't working. Go here and here and let's go get pylon. The top speed of his T Rex is seventeen miles per hour. Is that so? Can't go four meters without getting an Amara. Why am I hearing sky music? Oh, there's a something up there. Nothing too exciting, honestly. I'll take that perennial ore, though, while our teleport cools down. God damn it. Uh, maybe Stardust Dragon would be better. Stardust, dragon, go. Oh. Much better. If we only have one, it's definitely going to be that one. Let's just dig through here. It's fine. Probably gonna flood our house just a little bit. Should be fine. Oh, I need to open the door. 
Maybe that was a bit too much water, actually. Oh no. Oh no, I did not think things through. Let's make some more room for it. That's not 300 tiles. I mean, that is 300 tiles. There's no, there's nothing else to say. Nice bat banner. Now then, Archmage can go here. Mechanic missing a chair. Did I? Didn't I make a chair? I guess not. Mechanic. Slow pylon. Goblin tinkerer. Uh, missing a table and chair. Okay. Actually, it really doesn't look like this should be someone's room. Let's... Let's what? Let's get rid of the stairs. It's fine. Table. Chair. And... Tinkerer. found another chandelier, didn't we? Mismatched chandeliers, best chandeliers. That doesn't look great, the way the water comes down. How about this? here already. Must be night time. Okay, so if we want some underground tundra fishing, we've got that whenever we want. And... And what else? We need to get rid of all this stuff. Surprisingly, it already quick stacks for the most part. Oriel wood things in here. Sell all this. Boy sled summons a baby snowman. Amazing. Frost, probably already have that. Nope, oh, never mind. Real wood. So apparently we, yeah, we don't have to go to the dungeon to get that resource anymore. It does remind me though. Are we ready to perhaps try 
Stormweaver. Use a rune of Kos in space. We need 40 unholy essence. What kind of loot do we get? 24 range damage? The storm. It had better be very, very multi shot. 137 magic damage, thunderstorm. Storm dragon, 64 range damage, average speed. Uh, that sounds really weak. How do we make it again? We need 40 unholy essence. That's a little bit of a pain. We've got two. Um, but until we kill a certain boss... Oh, we got a whoopee cushion. I don't think I have any cloud in a balloons, though. Yeah, I think I have no... clouds. Alright, we'll just put this away for now. Still got stuff to sort from here. Astral Probe Banner. Scorpion Statue can go in here somewhere. Not gonna bother with the banners anymore. And I get another one. Get out of here. Alright, what's this? Perennial ore. How much of that do we have? Perennial ore, 491. Uh, it makes bricks die and bars, so I don't think we need to keep it in its original state. For the most part, what can we do with more bars other than make life alloy? We already did the Reaver stuff. Yeah, no, I think we're past that. Uh, ice cream, get out of here, and I think we can now start to empty this chest. I think we're going to have more than a few of these frost barriers. Just sell those. For defense, you will freeze enemies near you when you are struck. That's kind of good, but it's never going to do anything to a boss. Okay, why am I not just selling to this guy? Oh, we got frozen turtle shells. Oh, I forgot. I already did make one of these. Still, uh... They're probably still relatively hard to come by. Earthen Pike. Freeze Fossil Shards. Oh, this thing. Crushes enemy defenses. I'll stack these two away just in case. Oh yeah, we've already got a pair of frost barriers here. Uh, and I should probably retrieve... ...the stuff from the chest up here.
Feels weird, but there's still forest fire. Ooh. Astral ore? Isn't that what we just got a ton of anyway? I'll take it though. Wait, is it gonna spread from here? Oh no. I'm not a fan of that. Let's let's get rid of it as quick as we can. We're actually dying. Uh mining potion food and dig it nice and fast. I hope this doesn't spread a bio. I'm hoping it's more like the media head bio. Look at the snowman pet when he's flying. No, I don't think this biome has ever spread. What was I worried about? Oh well, we'll take the ore anyway. aggressively. Still have that Zerg potion? Not even. There is a water candle here though. From when we were looking for ice golems. We'll dismantle the old house. Do I even have room? Oh no. Let's put all of this in the void bank for the moment. And I'll take that back. This is good. Oh, the Shiverthorn farm is still here, but it should be fine to move it. They are, I think, the only plant that is always blooming, once it does start to bloom. Hammer. 
I'll just leave the golfer there to think about what he's done. Is that a fire? For I mean, a ladybug? Just because there's one NPC here? I wouldn't have expected to see them in the snow biome. Oh. It... It's a... A what? Twinkler or something? Twinkler, 40% bait power. Huh. Twinkler in a bottle. Well, that's kind of nice. I wonder why we didn't see one before. A lot of stuff I didn't pick up previously. Alright, what is this boreal wood doing here and what, it, what do I normally have here? More to the point. Also, where's that chest? Is it still up there? No, I got rid of the whole thing. Oh, I must have quick stacked it. Give me... No? Wait, what? Was it a gold chest? I don't... For some reason I thought we had a snow biome chest over there. Okay. Why are things go in here? And I think I'll just sell the rest of this. Where's my void bag? Oh, it's over here, isn't it? I guess I'll put Yarim Stimulants up there. Actually, I never look there because it takes so long to run out. I have the sinking feeling that I'm missing something important that was here. But... But what are you going to do? Oh, here it is. Molten Hamax. Sure. Put it here. And I should probably make another Shiverthorn farm. Where's our planters? I might have left room, more room underneath the house if I'd thought of this before. I could drain the water down to there, put the Shiverthorn here, but then it's not going to look as... You know what? Yeah, let's do that. Root seeds. Or rather, planters. Uh, veteran, thank you for the follow. You're welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That actually wasn't enough volume for what I wanted to do. Uh, well, but nothing. Let's make more room. Close enough. Okay. I guess theoretically monsters could 
Well, only if they had a water walking potion. They could end up jumping up and down here. This is fine. Alright, let's get this out of the way. Back to our main base. Finally, someone who streams Terraria, indeed. Welcome, veteran. Let's just sell this. Uh, don't sell the Shiverthorn. And stack this stuff away. Except for the penguin. The penguin may go. What's this? Twinkler. Uh, you know what? Twinkler in a bottle. Okay. Shiverthorn seeds go here. Slush goes here. Ice torches go here. And which boss was it? I was looking for the big glowing worm. Not Devourer of Gods. Altergeist? That still might be a bit far ahead. Uh, I don't want to do the Profane Guardians. Providence. How do we summon it? Profaned core in the hollow or underworld biomes. This item is not craftable. Never mind. Ceaseless void? Uh, spot info. Rune of Kos. Oh. Rune of Kos summons more than one type of thing. Mold. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Sickness. Rune of Kos in the underworld. Uh oh. Poltergeist is in the dungeon. Acid rain post poltergeist. That's an event. Old Duke. That's terrifying. Mm. I guess it really is the profaned guardians that we need to hit next. Not looking forward to that. Uh, I need to switch to DPS gear again. But first... Uh, I actually do want to see... How strong this is... This setup in the dungeon. Let's go have a peek. Oh, we need some potion of... Probably some calming potions would be a good idea. But I was going to say potion of omniscience. Calming potion... Oh wait, we've got zen potion. I forgot. It's like calming potion, but better. Zerg potion, zen potion. Your fortress is huge, looks awesome, thank you. Yesterday I killed Skeletron, and for now I'm clearing... Oh, it's the Blood Moon. Clearing Gung? Just need something to know from which... Which pick power can you mine dungeon bricks? Uh... 
yeah, I think... I think you can do it pre-hard mode, but maybe they changed it. Because you used to... There used to be no hard mode, and you could mine... Uh... You could mine hard, uh, dungeon bricks before hard, before hard mode was a thing. But... I don't know if they changed it. There's nothing new coming from the Blood Moon, is there? Doesn't look like it. We could get some Blood Orbs, but I don't feel like doing that right now. I, I don't even have to take advantage of a natural Blood Moon. We can summon it any time. Let's head down here. Down we go. Hello. There we go. Try a Zen potion just to be safe for starters. But I want to see the scarier enemies down here. And possibly that boss. I think the boss is going to be too strong. Probably. We got banners. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, the phantoplasm thing's still really nasty. Oh, what's this? Oh, we opened it. How did we open it? Heavenfall Star Disc, 147 rogue damage. It throws straight up whether we like it or not. It's very slow. Insane knockback throws a star disc upward, which launches itself towards your mouse cursor. Explodes into several astral energy bolts if the thrower is moving vertically when throwing it and during its impact. That's weird. Why are we spawning black rec recluses if we're sitting in the dungeon? That's also weird. We got some Zerg potions and Zen potions, Aurea Cell, Stardust, Fallen Stars, Gold Coin. Not too exciting. Um, let's put this stuff away so we don't use a Zerg potion. I don't think we have the Ice Biome Key yet. I'm actually shocked at just how effective the Zen Potion is, even though it's the dungeon. I might have to switch it off. Where would be the most spacious place? Probably... Probably here, to be honest. Or here. This might be as good as it gets if we're not making an arena to fight that boss. I don't know, it's still pretty cramped. Uh, this one is about the same. This room at the very end of the dungeon? Not really. It's not much better. Probably here where there's a tombstone. That's encouraging. What is this thing? Well, it's dead now, whatever it was.
Should probably use the knockback item. Potent Phantom Spirit Shot. Oh, that's right. We literally got sniped. That knockback, though. Alright, should we get rid of the Zen Potion? Let's try on... I'm not going to try on a Zerg Potion straight away. I should probably not be going through these... Um, Holy Wrath and Profaned Rage Potion. How do we make them again? Unholy Essence, Galactica, Singularity... Uh, it's not that bad. I should be conserving them, even so. We could go get ourselves some more Galactic Singularities. But first I want more Phantoplasm. Oh. Okay. Okay. How about Super Knockback? How do you feel about that? It's a little bit hard to see what's happening with this weapon. But it's quite good at keeping those pentoplasms away. My summon disappeared again. Uh, and it's definitely not for an excess of buffs either. Yeah, this thing's immune to knockback. It's not. Oh, that hurt. That hurt a lot. Let's be gone. Alright, stack away the things. Do I really not have golden tombstones in here? I guess not. What's this? Oh, we've got a million of these. Staff of Necrosteosis. We've also got sniper rifles. We could just buy those whenever we want, actually. Ow. What? That's... Not what I meant to do. I wonder if we can AFK the Blood Moon. How about... Tortoise Shell. Oh, I think this bomb is going to be a bit nasty. No? Chattering Teeth Bomb, that's what I was afraid of. Let's see how much damage it does. Uh, nothing? What? Are you serious? Oh, there's 180 damage. I don't understand what was happening just there. Uh, Rip Guide and Shopkeep, I guess. Whoops. Okay, I think it's about time to have a little break though. Let's do some words on stream. Hopefully it works today. I think that boss is the first that I think is legitimately impossible without building somewhat of an arena because dungeon doesn't generate big enough rooms. We'll see. Uh, and I need to put this here. Uh, 
All right, we'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Okay, one more and we'll get back to Terraria. Okay, let's continue, shall we? Just pause the words. And... I don't know what else to be doing right now. Let's put the golfer in his place. Golfer. Missing a light source. Oh, well, there's your problem. It's actually my fault. Golfer. Uh, where did he go? Golfer. Fantastic. Alright, back to spawn. And... Do we have an item that summons that boss? Or should I go for... Let's go for the space thing. To do that, we need to farm those stupid... fiery thingies. Let's grab a Zerg potion. And I forgot I don't have infinite flight. That might be bad. Oh, there they are. I can't... Oh my god, I can't get to this thing. There we go. Wow. I did not realize Terrarian would be this strong. Could you be persuaded to stop? Thank you. Unholy Essence looks really wrong floating in the air. It looks too solid. I really hate the way that fire moves. It doesn't make any sense.
I need, what, 40 of these? It seems the yo-yo itself does a ton of damage, which is why we're able to kill uh, these enemies in particular so fast with them. Because they don't... Uh, because they're immune to knockback, ironically, we can kill them much more easily with the Terrarian. <laughs> <laughs> Mini boss just getting one shot. That's kind of funny. Oh, we've got 56 already. Fantastic. Get back here. Get back here. before we go back. Actually, I should probably just make the most of this Zerg potion. Did I kill it already? Too many hit points to cut through. Oh, hello, key. Useless. Fantastic. This should be... This one Zerg potion should get us to functionally infinite unholy essence until we can kill the next boss. rather ironic that the tankiest build I can come up with is fastest at killing these things. Let's heal. Ow. Fifty-five, nice. Still got nine minutes left on the Zerg potion. Let's make the most of it.
movement in this game is awkward. It's not that bad, but it's not great. Oh, we can shoot down those projectiles? Or not all of them. Fantastic. We're getting uh, some very some very spiky RNG. No, I can't shoot down these projectiles. I think I would have noticed by now. I think one just happened to disappear when it looked like I would have shot that uh, shut it down. We're also going to have practically infinite uh, ingredients for unholy arrows before the end of this. Wait, did that thing disappear or die? Probably... I don't think it would have disappeared, actually. It's such a short distance. Two hundred and twenty. Fantastic. Give me that. Five minutes left on the Zerg potion. Seems good. Why did the music change? I guess we flew high enough? Actually, that's concerning. This wouldn't cause the... Surely that wouldn't cause the uh, boss to enrage. One would hope.
How did the flying slime get this far? Ow. Stop it. trick of making lots of Terrarian projectiles hit at the same time. Where the hell is this coming from? Oh, why are you, no why are you not dead? There we go. I just realized the third enemy type with the profane stuff that shows up. There's, there's nothing wrong with that one in particular, but I've come to hate it because I associate it with the other two. Up we go. Oh, it's night time. We must be close, two minutes. Hmm. Probably best if we don't have to deal with the lasers as well as all of this. Three hundred and sixty-three. Okay, that's more than I was expecting. And we've still got forty seconds. Those projectiles seem to be specifically designed to make it look like you can get through a gap and then change it up as you get there. Should be a bit more in the sky. There we go. And... Back to base. Okay. So let's remind ourselves. Unholy Essence. We need it for these potions. Unholy Wrath Potion. Oh, that's the same as... That's this one. Derp. We need it for Rune of Kos. Uh, we can afford that very easily now, except I think we're out of solar fragments. Don't know where to get armored shell. Unholy essence and spiky ball. Profaned partisan. Uli bloom bar. 
Divine Shield. Oh, was, there was ammo, wasn't there? Relatively strong bullets and stuff. I should use Luminite bullets since they're so easy. Oh. Luminite's bullet, uh, Luminite bullets pierce. And we can easily afford them. And there's actually enemies that are worth using them on. This might be what we use to beat that boss. Yeah, it just might. Um, but first I want to take a run at the Moon Lord with this gear. Well, I think we already did that. Uh, we already beat him with this, actually, but uh, more to the point, I want uh, I want to farm the fragments leading up to him as well. Sell this stuff. Scorn Eater Banner. Is that what I think it is? It is. I'm definitely not going to sell that particular type of banner. Let's instead put it over here somewhere. And... I don't know, here? Looks kind of weird, actually. That's the first thing I can think of where a banner is really kind of necessary. Alright, let's do the cultists. Actually, the cultist is kind of... Uh, last I tried, I thought the cultist would be easy with the tanky gear, and it was actually kind of bad. But this is like post-Moon Lord Terrarian. I kind of want to see how it goes. Yeah, we've got plenty of damage. It's gonna be fine. Uh oh, that's not that's not fine. Oh, I actually kind of feel sorry for him. Wait, let me get this straight. You're playing Calamity Master Mode without building boss arenas? Yes, indeed. And you're at Cultist. You must be like a freaking god. Not really. Uh, I just know a few tricks that can make it plausible. Uh, Super Dawn, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, and yeah, we're post Moon Lord, actually. That's why I've got the Terrarian, which is just deleting these things. Also, he's post Moon Lord, yes. Uh, I did get the mod that unnerfs the Soaring Insignia. You could do it indefinitely with grav potions, but I didn't feel like it. At infinite flight, you could indefinitely use grav potions, that is. This is happening rather quick. Oh, do we still have... No, we don't have a zerg potion. This is just normal spawn rate for the pillars. Uh, something I, I am yet to try in... Uh-oh. Something I'm yet to try in vanilla that I stumbled on during this playthrough is using a calming potion for the pillars. And make them a lot more manageable. I think... Uh, I have a suspicion, at least in Calamity... Oh, that damage, though. 
I think at least in Calamity, the uh, spawn rate potions seem to just set things absolutely. Alright, let's get out of here. We're pretty damn tanky to be able to not get two shot by those, but... Oh, that was a bad dodge. Oh, 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 it's teleporting on me. Rude. Even after we left the, the biome. Let's take some time to sort out inventory while we heal up. Um, so, don't need that. We'll keep that. But not going to bother with these banners. Maybe I should bother with the brains... Not the brain sucker, but the, the thing that teleports and snipes. Skip's blood. Great for impersonating devs. Don't know when we got this. That's looking a bit too weird for my tastes. And that can go in here. Oh, we've got so much to sort out here. Let's just head back for now. time to pay attention to exactly how much uh, damage we can absorb with the abyssal diving gear. Oh, didn't realize we had this already. That was quick. Terrarian OP. To the next one. Oh, it does regenerate, I think. Whoops. Where's the next pillar? More of a walk than I thought. Uh, let's leave the vortex for last, since that's easiest. I wonder if... I don't think it's going to be significantly more effective against melee build or anything. The melee, uh, the solar pillar is a lot stronger against ranged, but I don't know that it necessarily works the other way around. Oh wow. That damage! Oh my goodness. This is bullying. Um, I don't think we ever need to leave the ground. In fact, I bet I could just sort of... If this is... If this is gonna work... Okay, we would take some hits, but still. Anyone? Just casually almost AFK the pillar. We don't need no stinking banners. Not for this lot.
Well, I just need them to spawn, but we're standing in front of a water candle. That water's definitely helping. I'll just wait till there's a critical mass of them down there and then go massacre them. Oh, the yo-yo gets stuck. I gotta watch out for that. Ow. I say ow and then I look at my health and it's like... 90%. Oh no. Don't hit me. Ouchie. Okay. That's the solar down. It's okay you had a... Booby? A booby. Give me those. No, I, you're already here? Shoo. I can't, I literally can't have four seconds of peace in this biome. After clearing the pillar. Frickin' scroll, not scrollers, uh... I can never remember what they're called. Alright, but we got our solar fragments. That's the reason we're doing this. May as well clear the rest, though. Oh, that didn't work. Probably better weapons how these enemies work. Oh, this is perfect. We can let them grow up and come at us so we can clear this faster. Whoops. They disappeared. Why was that? Those worm things have more health than I would have thought. What was that? Oh, I forgot this is supposed to be our day bloom farm down here. I think it's easier to deal with the more common enemies. With the terrarian. The knockback, uh, the pattern of knockback of these guys are a little bit more of a problem to kill. Was probably going to move through the wall after a bit, but nope. Too much knockback. This weapon instead. Uh, I think the Terrarian is still better, despite the awkwardness of killing some of the enemies.
Fantastic. Oh, come on. Ouchie. Got it all. There's a little bit back here. Alright, so there's already only one pillar left actually. And I did miss a fragment. Gimme gimme. So give me the strange plant. That's not a strange plant. Never mind. Get out of here, normal plant. a lot of stuff. Definitely sell all of those. And then... Banners, boots, rope. Don't need another hallowed key. Energy stuff. Summons a profaned energy turret to fight for you. Oh. I guess this counts as a sentry? Yeah. Are we better off with rainbow crystal stuff still? I think probably yes. Although I haven't seen what this does. Let's find out. Oh, that's a bit more aggressive at range. And it shoots homing missiles. Um, yeah, I could see myself using this from time to time. The uh, rainbow crystal staff's a bit better for area denial. For groups of enemies, but if we're wanting to just shoot down the occasional pest or contribute a little bit of damage to a boss fight, maybe even, that might be good. Let's put it here. I never used the ice rod. Very occasionally I find myself wishing I had it. Maybe I should put it in the piggy bank. Alright, let's get this thing re-rolled. Ruthless. And... Fantastic. Don't know if I need another morning star. Put all this stuff away. You can put it in the walls. I wonder if it'll shoot through walls. I doubt it. Okay. Maybe there's jungle. And head to the left. Turtles? Two turtles in a row? Rude. Let's try it here. Go straight to the pillar. It's not doing a whole lot, but it is definitely 
crowd controlling. How about... Does it deal AoE damage? I don't think it does. That's a lot of alien queens. Ow. It wasn't my plan to cheese them like this, but it's pretty funny. out for the spawns above, and the occasional lightning, just keep making sure we're not underneath the spawner. Queen Banner. And there it is. Alright, Moon Lord at 650. Ouchie. Now I'm stuck in the air. I can't stop them from <clears throat> reproducing. we clean all this up before the Moon Lord arrives? There we go. 30 seconds. What hit me? Oh, good. Random overpowered. Well, they're not actually that overpowered, but I don't want them using up my dodge cooldown. Too late. Do I not have water walking? That was weird. Beam time? Hurry up with the beam, please. Hurry up with the beam, please. Hurry up with the beam, please. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, I could have used my teleport, but I wanted to see if I could get around it. Why couldn't I teleport? What? It says I did teleport with the cooldown. Oh no. Uh, Soaring Insignia, please. Oh no. Oh no. I think we're in trouble. Oh, I forgot. I forgot about the stupid... Okay. That's not what I meant to do, either. Uh... Oh, that's good. That's good. Yes. Perfect. Wonderful. Um... Can I get out of here? Maybe. I don't know when the next beam is. I have no health. This is suboptimal. The beam is coming. Oh, here it is. I was actually far enough away to avoid it. I didn't know you could do that. Alright, so we should have, what, 10 seconds? Till the next one? I can't believe I recovered from that. And we're actually managing quite well to kill all the eyes at about the same time.
And there it is. We're pretty much on the victory lap already. Ouchie. Maybe I should use the Terrarian. I don't know how well that's going to work. There we go. Now we're well and truly on the victory lap. Oops. Yeah, I would have uh, never made it through with pre-Moon Lord gear this time. Ouchie, I still have to pay attention. It's not over yet. He got his... Oh, he didn't get his leech thing on me, actually. Um, can I Terrarian his heart? Finish him off? Perhaps. There we go. Now, give me more bullets. Alright, I think we will try uh, next time using Luminite bullets against the profaned bosses so that we can always... I mean, it's going to be hard to aim it, but hopefully we can get more hits on the healer in the back. Uh, the only trouble is having to aim at them off screen. But yeah, Moon Lord, Moon Lord bullets, that's what I'm going to call them. Uh, Lumin, Lumaner, Lumarium bullets or something? Where is it? It's probably easy to find it here. Luminite bullet. Uh, very, very fast, pierces everything, high damage. might be the way to go. Uh, but for now, uh, I'm going to have to wrap up a bit earlier today. I've got some stuff I have to do tomorrow. Let's find someone playing Terraria and give him a raid, shall we? Repetitive Beats, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We've got anyone doing Calamity? Oh, wow. Old Duke. Good luck. Sapphire Knight, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Old Duke, time to meet your maker. Expert mode. Thank you all for watching, do take care, and I'll see you next time. We'll be doing... But if it's going to benefit me, um, if it's going to benefit me taking on the, uh, the Devourer of the Gods, then 